Hey guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. So I got a new bookshelf as you can see in the background. So I filmed a whole video of me organizing the bookshelf. Then I hate how I organized it so I completely reorganized it. But I did film a few clips at the beginning of the original organizing video that I wanted to include so I'm gonna put those clips in right now. The book wall is coming down today. I'm kind of sad about it, I'm not gonna lie. But I have my shelf and it's ready, so I don't really know the plan for this video or anything. I just know I need to I'm gonna start by taking down the book wall because this is where the shelf is gonna go and then I have to move the books somewhere. <laughs> It looks like so many books when I do it like this. There's more back there. I'm going to get some help getting the bookshelf in here. And then somehow I have all of these books onto the shelf. So here's the shelf. It's in beautiful. My mom built this, by the way, I didn't say that. So she just painted it and it has to like sit for like a month or the paint is gonna get stuck to my books so i cut paper to sit on the shelves so that the paint doesn't stick to my books but i can also put the books on the shelf so i'm gonna put the paper on the shelf now so the paper is on the shelf i now need to try to somehow get all the books onto this shelf. I really don't know how I'm going to do that. I think I need to like come up with a plan before I try to put some books on there. I think I need to separate haven't read and read to start. I think I'm going to do that. the TBR versus books I've read plan is not working I don't really know what I want to do right now <laughs> this is so stressful so like I said I absolutely hated the way that I had organized it <laughs> so I've reorganized it and now I like the way that it looks so I did view film me reorganizing it so I'll put that clip in now did not fit I'm gonna need to get another one but I basically just put them all against the wall and I faced them so that the spine is against the wall because I thought it looked nicer like that I'll probably get a new shelf soon but for now that's what's going on down there I also put books there that I know I'm not gonna either I'm not gonna read for a very long time or I've read and I'm not gonna be like taking them out to like film them video or something or books that I know I'm never going to read because they're not the easiest to, to find there except for a few books which I put kind of on the top that are easier to get to which I will be reading probably soon but for the most part they're books that I'm not going to be needing access to <laughs> so I have a little another little clip of me doing that so I'll put that in here <laughs> of me organizing the shelf um, I also filmed a little tour showing you all the books on the shelf so I'll put that in now that's gonna be the main portion of this video 
is the tour of the bookshelf. So enjoy. <laughs> shelf here we have classics this and that <laughs> and then a few other random books that I thought looked nice in this pile because I needed more books to make sure the Gatsby stood up like that and really specifically pick these books for any reason other than I thought they looked nice um so I have Wuthering Heights which I have not read To Kill a Mockingbird have not read The Odyssey have not read Normal People have not read <laughs> Song of Achilles, have read, loved it, five stars. Same with Seven of Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, and then have not read the Creator Gatsby. Candle from Book of the Month that says, Smells like freshly printed pages and unlimited possibilities. Just chilling on top there. Moving over, I have some poetry books. They're all Ruby Carr. And then I just have earrings and a necklace sitting on top because I thought they looked nice. And then a clip again. I just, no reason other than wanted to look nice and aesthetic. And then this like David's head thing, that's actually a vase, but whatever. And that I got from Shein. And then here I have Once Upon a Broken Heart. And then I just took off the dust jacket because I think this cover is so beautiful. And then I have this rose thing that's like Beauty and the Beast inspired. My mom made it for me for a birthday a few years ago. So those are, and then just a couple book stickers here that I got in a PR package. On the top shelf here first is my Colleen Hoover section. So this here, these are all the series. So we have the Maybe Someday series, the Hopeless series, and then the Slammed series. I have not read this series or this series yet, and I have read all of these very good recommend reading them in this order super good obsessed one of my favorite Colin Hoover books here are most of the standalones other than those confess without merit and ends with us Layla Verity ugly love November 9 Revenge of the Pimp and regretting you and then over here I have hard ones and too late because they are slightly taller than all the other books so they go there yeah that's every single oh that's not true one there's one more Colin Hoover book down here because it's like really big but pretty much that's all the Colleen Hoover books then I have this pile these are all slightly smaller than an average book <laughs> so I put them here basically this the shelf is organized by size because I like when they're all like the same height next to each other so that's basically the organization so this we have all roads lead here undercover Triple Threat, Priest Center Saint, Give Me a Reason, Double Negative. The only one of this pile that I've read is Triple Threat. Here I have my Mia Sheridan books. I have three. I kind of have them just like leaning here because I thought they looked nice. I haven't read more than words yet, but both of these are five stars for me. This is my all-time favorite book. Okay, here we have the off-campus series. I don't have the Briar U series. I haven't actually, I've only read the deal. Um, once I finish the series, I'll get the Briar U series, probably random cube handle on top over here this is like the only section that i didn't really have height wise it's kind of a miscellaneous section so we have good girl complex by l kennedy because it's next to the l kennedy books someone exactly like me by debbie cromack love this book wall of winnipeg and me by marina zapata my only marina zapata book that i've read and i absolutely loved it so i definitely need to get to all roads lead here but I put this on the shelf so that they were at least on the same shelf. But this is like so much smaller than that one and it's super annoying. And then I have my Penelope Douglas books. I've read both Birthday Girl and Punk 57. Didn't really like either of them that much. And I'm not a bully yet and they are all different heights which is super annoying. Honestly this was my fault though. I bought the Indico exclusive cover like an idiot. <laughs> So pretty much this entire um, shelf here is all romance books, except for this one. I have them organized by like height. So like those are all the same height, those are all the same height, these are all the same height. So here, I kind of have it by color. 
but I'm not super strict on that. I just kind of did it because I thought it looked nice. Um, so I have it gets that for me by Jacqueline Friedland, Addicted to You. I loved this. I need to read this one. Then I have the Twisted series by Anna Huang. Love this whole series. Super good. Darling Venom. So good. Absolutely love this book. Have not read the Spanish Love Deception yet. Have not read this one yet either. Um, did not really like this series, honestly. It's a Christmas book series. They're really short. I read them to try to get more books read in December, and I wanted to read Christmas books. I didn't really love any of them that much. Then I have Scarred and Hooked by Emily McIntyre, the Never After series. I am obsessed. Not to Meet Cute by Megan Quinn. Have not read it yet, mostly because I really dislike the cover and it's turning me off of reading it, but I've heard really good things about it. This is another pile where the books are all the same height and are smaller than a normal book size. Fine print, throttled, collided, wrecked, and redeemed. Haven't read any of them yet. I'm halfway through throttled. So I guess that I read half of this one. And for some reason I'm not liking it and I have not gone back to it, but I need to go back to it in April. Then I have a random Tessa Bailey books. I have not read these two yet. Window shopping, have read it. Really good little Christmas book. The Sunken City, um, this was sent to me, haven't read it yet. Then I have this little like fool me once section because I got a PR box for it and it just looks cute with like the candle and everything. I'm currently reading this, as you can see my bookmark is in there. Tessa Bailey section, Hot and Hammered series, love, 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 love the series. It happened one summer, one of my favorite books, absolutely love this one, Hook, Line, and Sinker, haven't read yet. Then I have my Christina Lauren section. I've only read these three. I haven't read these four. I really, really, really need to read Love in Other Words because everyone says that this book is five stars, so I need to read it. And then my Kindle is just sitting on top of there. Okay, then the section, again, they're just organized by height. The two are just slightly taller, but they don't go anywhere else, so <laughs> it's, it is what it is. So I have... The Kiss Quotient series by Helen Huang. I've only read the Kiss Quotient. Then I have Red, White, and Royal Blue and One Last Stop by Casey McQuinston. Love Hypothesis by Allie Hazelwood. Absolutely loved. Neon Gods. I loved. Electric Idol. I haven't gotten to yet. This next shelf is mostly romance again and then some historical fiction there at the end. So starting on this end, I have The Rosie Project and The Rosie Effect. These ones I got in a blind date with a book and I have not read those yet. You had me at Ola. I've had this book for so long and have not read it yet. I need to get to it. Same with How to Marry Keanu Reeves in 90 Days. Then I have The Dating Playbook. Have not gone into it yet either. The Friend Zone. I got this one for Christmas. Haven't read it yet. The Matzo Ball. Then I have my Sally Thorne books. The Hating Game, 99% Mine, and Second First Impression. Beach Read and People We Meet on Vacation. Haven't gotten into either of these, but I really need to because everyone loves those books. Okay, so this next section, more romance. Before We Were Strangers by Renee Carolino. Haven't read yet. Simple Wild. I've had this for so long. I have not read it yet. Same with Wall Man. I'm pretty sure I bought them at the same time. Have not gotten into either of them. Romance Book Club. Haven't read. Rebecca Full Up. I have read. And it was pretty good. It was a cute little romance um, with dental students and with some good anxiety rep. Holly Swap, another one I wanted to get at Christmas time. Get to at Christmas time and did not. Book of the month. These are the January book of the month books. I've read Love and Other Disasters. Haven't read the rest of them yet. I really want to get to these two. And then I also have the Invisible Life of Addie LaRue down there because the stack just needed to be a little bit taller and it was the same size, so yeah. Then I have Sylvia Day books. I have not read any of the series. I'm still missing one of them, but I have not read any of them. I have read After Burn, After Shock, and I absolutely despised it. Things We Never Got Over by Lucy Score. Loved this. Just read this in March, and it was super good. Highly recommend. I have some historical fiction. The Book Thief. Loved this book. Very meaningful. The Kite Runner I read in high school. Don't really remember it, but I liked it. Daisy Jones and the Six. Loved it. I love Taylor Jenkins Reid. Where the crowds at sing, haven't read it yet. Cersei did not like it. So this bottom shelf is like big size books and then hardcover books. That's what's going on down here. So starting over here, I have a few hardcover books. So I have the Bone Sandal, have not gotten into yet. You've reached Sam, 
I did not really like it. Inheritance Games and the Hawthorne Legacy. This one's actually not a hardcover, but it's there anyways. Um, really, really love the series. P.S. You're a Genius. I have not gotten into yet, but it's a little self-help book and it's super short, so I'm gonna try to get to that soon. One Italian Summer by Rebecca Surley. Haven't gotten into yet. Cover is beautiful. Really want to read it. And then I have a little plant sitting on top. It's fake. It's from Home Sense. No real reason that's there. On to the big book section. This one is slightly bigger than all of them, which is just so annoying. <laughs> so I have The Atlas Six, Still Beating in Lotus by Jennifer Hartman. I really, really want to read these books. Haven't yet though. Just Playing by Shawnee Boys. I literally just bought this because I saw one TikTok about it and then I bought it and then I started reading it and I read a little bit of it and I absolutely hated it and I didn't keep going with it. Um, so maybe I'll keep reading it eventually, maybe? I don't know. X Hacks, good little book to read at Halloween time. Rock of Kill, have not read it yet. These three Marie Force books I'm super excited for. Thousand Boy Kisses, Series of Unfortunate Men, haven't gotten into it yet. Um, Dr. OB, Dr. ER, and Dr. Neuro, again, have not gotten to those yet, but want to. Kingdomless, just got this one in the mail. And then Heart, um, I started reading this one and I had to GNF, it was not for me. Never Never, this is the last Colleen Hoover book I was just mentioning before when I was talking about Colleen Hoover. This is the other one and I have not read it yet, but I want to. Cities and the Rockstar's Sister, haven't gotten to yet. Full Tilt, just read it, cried. So depressed, five stars, love it. Have not read all in yet. I'm pretty sure this one has a happy ending. If it doesn't, then I'm finally complained. And I'm Malibu writing. I haven't read yet. I'm really mad I bought it because I really wanted to read it. So I bought the stupid large print version and then I haven't read it. And now the normal size is available and I am stuck with this. <laughs> then I have Love, Love, Love. Haven't gotten into this yet. Soulmate Equation by Christina Lauren. Loved this first Christina Lauren book, really good. And I have the Divergent series and the Hunger Games series, except I'm missing Hunger Games. I need to find it at the thrift store in a hardcover. Um, Five Feet Apart, I read, don't really remember it. Under Lock and Skeleton Key, have not read it, but I really want to get to this one soon. I think in April I'm going to get to that one. Mine's Bird on the Ground. Then I have Eclipse and Breaking Dawn. I need to get the rest of the series in hardcover. I have The Guardian by Nicholas Sparks. Haven't read These Violent Delights. Have not gotten to it yet. And A Measure of Serenity I have read. And it was pretty good. It's a YA dystopian book. So that is all for the actual bookshelf. Here is a overview. <laughs> and then I have the rest of the books here behind my clothing rack. <laughs> I'm hoping to get another bookshelf exactly like this to go here and then move the clothing rack somewhere but for the time being this is what we have going on I'll show you these books but I'm not going to show all of those ones they're mostly older books anyways so I'm not going to worry about those ones but I'll show these ones quickly because they're on top and you see you got to those are pretty much all older books I read in middle school or have gotten at the thrift store and they're kind of older all the nicholas sparks books are in there some of these are newer books that i've gotten but just haven't been able to fit on the shelf some of them are older thrift store books so on top here i just have my pencil case which has all the supplies for my annotating um i do switch up the markers and the tabs depending on whatever book i'm reading because i've been matching my tabs to my cover but this is the supplies I'm using for my current read. I have some small like pocket sized books. All three of these are Nicholas Sparks ones I've gotten at the thrift store. And then this one I just got sent by Harley Quinn and it is an enemies to lovers book which I love. So this is The Wedding Season by Michelle Major. Those I kind of I just have like piled. Oops up like that and here i have the lies of diamond bessie by jody hadlock have not read this one yet i just got this one in from Bookspark. i have fraudulently ever after no match for her by stacy travis um me before you by jojo moyes have not gotten to this one yet either i have the 50 shades of gray series so i have 50 shades of gray 50 shades free 50 shades darker and then gray i have the book of the girls by lawrence hill 
So that is my book collection. I need I need another shelf. That's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to like it and subscribe if you're not already and less obsessed with other books and fictional characters together. Follow all my social medias, they will be linked down below as well as on the screen. It's Ash Taylor on basically everything. Also, you can add me on Goodreads. I add everyone back. I love seeing what everyone's reading. So add me on there. And I think that's it. So I will see you guys in my next video.